This video tutorial will teach you how to make a movie, that is a QuickTime movie or an API, out of a file sequence inside of Lyric. First, open up the target sequence as a flipbook. You can get to flipbook under Tools, Flipbook. Here we're going to browse to our first file. That's our numerically first uh, file. And it's going to automatically find the last file in that folder. Don't worry about any of these settings because we're not actually going to uh, be using the flipbook as an animation. We're just using it as a tool to make our QuickTime movie or AVI. Down here you see the rendering bar. This is the only time you ever want to see the rendering bar inside of Lyric and probably will be the only time you ever will see it. So now our flipbook is on our screen and it's a flare moving. It's a sun flare looks like. So I'm happy with that. That looks good. What I want to do is I'm going to use my safe title lines to uh, crop this uh, graphic to the region of interest. Because safe title is centered in the lower left corner, I'm going to move my object down into the lower left corner of the screen. And I'm going to make sure that the safe title area, which I get to under config, safe title adjust, is going to show the entire region of interest, but is going to crop it as tightly as I can. So if you use the height percentage and width percentage uh, areas, then you find that is probably the quickest way to adjust. And then you could do your fine tuning under width and height. So once you're happy with your adjustment, here you are. And of course, we're going to the true safe title lines, not the green four by three safe title lines. So we're happy that the entire animation is happening within that safe title area. You can remember to scroll to make sure. Then we can go to File, Save As. We can save it as either an AVI or a QuickTime movie, which are up at the top of the list of the Save As types. So I'm going to choose AVI, but the, the uh, way to do a QuickTime movie is exactly the same. I'm going to browse under Movies, and I'm going to give this a name. Now it's important to pay attention to this top of the screen. Unless you're going to send uh, this movie out to a machine that needs to have a separate mat and fill file, which Lyric does not, otherwise you can untick that box. If you're working in fields rather than in frames, you can have field render ticked. But I'm working in frames, so I'm going to untick field render. And I'm going to clip to save title because that is what's going to enable me to crop this movie and not make a full frame movie that would tax the resources of my uh, processing power. I'm also wondering.